Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease that uh, affects about one in a thousand people. It slowly robs people of their ability to move. It's also a disease that affects how people think. Uh, it affects the ability to, to even be motivated. In the past, one would typically do a clinical exam. In contrast, if you were to actually deploy technology where the patient is living, in their home, in their work environment, what that allows the patient to do is actually report on a minute-by-minute -minute basis exactly what is going on. We're going to be using wearable sensors and ambient sensors, and these contain accelerometers, gyroscopes, and magnetometers. So we may have a, a sensor with pads underneath uh, the chair that someone's sitting on so we can see if they're squirmy or not. We're getting data from a, a sensor that says this is the way the body is moving in, in terms of space and time. We have these different tasks such as flexion extension, and then what we'll do is have them run through some scripted activities of daily living. And they rate them on a score of zero to four, where zero is doing it essentially as a healthy person would, to four where there's very severe symptoms of Parkinson's disease. The goal is to have the sensors on things in the home. They could be on chairs, they could be in the doorknobs, picking up the information and providing a medical exam as if a physician or a neurologist was watching you as you move around the house. And the whole question about digital quantitative medicine is to be able to measure continuously continuously how people change, we'll have better ways to provide a richer variety of therapeutics. We work on Parkinson's first, but I can see extending from there to other disease areas as well. It's completely scalable across the fields of medicine, and that's why we're focused more on the analytics than necessarily on just the movement. The key milestone is to demonstrate that the technology that we're developing is directly applicable in a phase three trial. A phase three trial is the trial that proves at the regulatory level, the FDA or the EMA says, yes, that drug works. If we could capture the kinds of information we're talking about, we really think that's going to give us a better way to personalize medicine and take care of people better.